An angry gorilla captured an injured woman in the jungle, and she thought she was about to die. However, what it did next was incredibly shocking and unexpected. When Pamela had embarked on a solo hike through the dense jungles of Virunga that morning, the campsite guides had warned her against the dangers she might encounter. After all, the Virunga Mountains were known to be a perilous place where people would venture and never come back. Pamela now understood why, as she looked straight into the eyes of a huge, angry gorilla coming her way at an alarming speed. Her heart skipped a beat as she had heard horror stories of gorillas and how they could rip people limb from limb if they ventured into their territory. Had she not been in such a vulnerable position, Pamela would have been awe-inspired by this huge gorilla that was approaching her by the minute, breaking through the leaves like a thundering force, but as it was, she was absolutely terrified. Her main issue was her ankle. She had left her hotel that morning under the scorching sun, but had been surprised mid-hike by a downpour of rain that had turned the jungle into a slippery slope of wet leaves. She had tried her best to maintain her balance, but she had inevitably slipped and fallen, landing right on her left ankle. Excruciating pain had surged through her ankle, rendering her helpless and unable to move. And now that she was sitting awkwardly on the ground in front of a gorilla, she realized that she had no way to escape. The huge beast was looking down at her with a frown on its face. It looked angry, or at least annoyed by her presence, and worst of all, it was slowly inching closer. Struggling to stay calm, Pamela remembered the warning she had received by the tour guide she had spoken to that morning. They had told her that running away from a wild animal never ends well for humans, and that in case of a close encounter, she should try to make herself as big and threatening as possible. But that was easier said than done. Pamela was nothing more than a mess of tears and wet hair on the forest floor, with a leg twisted in front of her at an awkward angle and burning eyes. She was pretty sure she looked everything but big and threatening, and she suddenly burst out laughing hysterically at her desperate situation. But that's when the gorilla stopped moving towards her. The noise had taken it by surprise, and it remained frozen on the spot for a few seconds. Despite the paralyzing fear clouding her judgment, Pamela recognized her opportunity. She didn't wait for the gorilla to start moving again and instead threw her hands in the air, letting out the most powerful scream she could muster. She flailed her arms around and kept yelling as long as her lungs let her, trying to appear as menacing as possible. She hoped not only to scare the gorilla away, but also to attract the attention of other hikers. However, she soon realized that her voice was being carried away by the gusts of wind. Her desperate plea seemed to merge with the din of the storm, overshadowed by nature's raw power. The leaves and trees also baffled her screams, meaning that no one was or would ever be able to hear her. However, her odd display of strength seemed to have impressed the gorilla, who had still not moved from its spot. Pamela felt a tiny sliver of hope grasp her mind. Perhaps she wasn't going anywhere or alerting other hikers of her location, but if she could keep screaming and moving the upper part of her body, she would at least keep the gorilla at arm's length. So she yelled again, still flailing her arms in the air. But this time, the beast didn't even flinch and suddenly started moving again. The gorilla reached her in seconds and let out a bellow, puffing its chest out and displaying its grand dominance. Pamela needed a new strategy. She couldn't fight or flight, so she would freeze and fawn. She bowed her head and looked away, hoping that the gorilla would just walk away, but it got even closer. As it sniffed at her body, Pamela saw the massive fangs and powerful rippling muscles. Should the gorilla decide to attack, then she wouldn't stand a chance. Suddenly, the beast reached down and grabbed her, pulling her up off the floor. Pamela let out a scream, but the gorilla didn't seem to care. It was carrying her away, taking her who knows where to do who knows what. All Pamela could do was cling to its mighty back, fearful of falling and hurting herself again, or worse, angering the gorilla even more. Eventually, they reached a small cave, and the gorilla carried her into it, dropping her roughly to the ground. Racking her brains, Pamela tried to calm herself and remember all that she could about gorillas. Were they carnivorous or herbivores? Were they easily provoked or quite calm? 
In her confused and scared state, Pamela couldn't actually think straight, and as the gorilla towered over her, his fur dripping and his face in a terribly angry scowl, she realized she was out of plans. Pamela scurried into a corner and tried to make herself as small as possible. Part of her hoped that the gorilla would just forget she was there or grow bored of her and wander off. As she scuttled backwards, her foot scraped on the ground and the gorilla, startled, turned quickly around and let out a bellow, hitting his fist against his mighty chest. But at this point, something seemed to change. Despite that abject terror, Pamela couldn't help but notice that the gorilla wasn't actively trying to hurt her or even intimidate her. It was just looking at her and keeping what looked like a respectful distance inside the cave. Only then did she realize that it had taken her to a shelter and that she wasn't shivering in the rain or exposed to even more dangerous predators anymore. Shockingly enough, her situation had actually taken a turn for the better. Somehow, she understood that the gorilla wasn't there to hurt her. Perhaps she had judged the mighty animal wrongly after all. Pamela's fear gradually transformed into awe and gratitude as she realized that this magnificent creature was her savior. It was as if the gorilla understood Pamela's predicament and knew that she was injured. He slowly backed away to the entrance of the cave and sat looking out as the rain fell on the jungle. Suddenly feeling safe, Pamela managed to dry her damp satellite telephone enough to call for help, eventually reaching a nearby station. They said that they were going to send someone out right then, but it would take a while to reach her position. But Pamela was okay with that. She knew that the gorilla had not captured her for any bad or deadly reason. It was trying to protect her. The hours passed, but the gorilla remained faithfully close by, looking around and checking on Pamela every now and again. Its piercing gaze reassured her that she was not alone. His unwavering loyalty touched her deeply and proved to her that the chasm between humans and wildlife was not so big after all. In fact, in a way, she was sure that the gorilla understood her pain and what she was going through. Finally, the rescue team arrived, guided by Pamela's call for help. As they carefully tended to her injured ankle, the gorilla quietly retreated back into the rain-soaked wilderness, blending seamlessly into the dripping leaves and trees. Pamela watched him disappear, tears streaming down her face, forever grateful for the guardian spirit that had watched over her. The gorilla, on the other hand, didn't look back once. It knew that it had been able to save her life, and it was content with that. Pamela made a full recovery and eventually returned home from Africa, all the way back to her normal rural American life. But in the years that followed, she often thought back to that enchanting encounter with the gorilla in the African jungle. It reminded her that despite there being vast differences between species and cultures, there was always a special something that bound animals and humans together. And though she had traveled across the world to experience the wonders of Africa, it was this chance encounter with a gentle gorilla that truly opened her heart to the magic of this special place. So now, it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? How would you have felt if the gorilla came and captured you? Do you believe that the gorilla understood what Pamela was going through and wanted to help? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.